Hello guys, this is Abir. Welcome to my channel, Abir in the Kitchen. I'm gonna show you some uh, quick and easy recipes, so stay tuned. With me. This is an Indian like home style. Uh, you can say like uh, people use local food to eat there in your home. So mutter paneer is basically a green piece with a made of uh, Indian style cottage cheese and we are going to serve this food with a lecha paratha. So just stay tuned. We, this uh, recipe is going to be like fantastic recipe. So let's begin guys. Alright, so we are starting with the lachha paratha. For lachha paratha, we need uh, one kg of all-purpose flour, water around like two cups, and just a salt to taste. The flour goes in the stand mixer. We are going to use a stand mixer. Why not? If we have in house, so we have to take, we have to use it. And second thing, like I love to use the technology. So here you go. The all-purpose flour is in the stand mixer. Salt according to the taste. Water around like two cups. So this is something look like a dough is happening for a lachha parana. Guys, this is to understand that we are doing a lachha parana. To make a lachha parana, dough has to be a little bit tight. If it is very loose, your lachha will lachha means like layer on your uh, flat bread will not going to be open up. So just make sure it is little tight. Dough is about to get ready. So this is how it look like a dough, but it is a final step is left to finish this dough. So you're gonna see what it is. Right, this is the final step, small drizzle of oil on the dough and after that tap your dough a little bit with your hands, don't shy to touch your dough with your bare hands. Indian food is not get delicious until unless you are not putting your hand inside. So guys when you're done with the oil cover your dough, I just used the saran wrap and uh, we need to give a rest at least like 30 minutes to our dough so like the gluten form uh, inside the dough like takes time and wanna get rest so after that this will comes up in a very good layer so in the meantime we're gonna start preparing our mutter paneer that is green peas and in install cottage cheese so guys the ingredient we are using to make a mutter paneer that is uh, onions ginger garlic paste some green chilies crushed tomatoes, of course paneer or Indian cottage cheese, green peas, this is some chopped cilantro uh, for the garnish, salt, bay leaf and dry red chili. Guys this is a mix of Indian spices, uh, goes inside uh, red chili powder, coriander powder, Cumin powder, little garam masala, and a turmeric powder. Uh, here I have here that is a ginger julienne. Is for the garnish. We are going to use it. Uh, oil. As you can use oil like we are using canola oil, but you can also use mustard oil over there if you want mustard oil or ghee, whatever the preferences you have. Some dry red chili and bay leaf into the oil. Onions. Guys, right, so now is the time actually like we need to cook onions and Actually, we have to make it brown, really brown, not burn. I will say like two levels or three levels before the burning stage. So we have to make it really brown. Keep your heat on the moderate and cook it for, I think it's gonna take at least 10 minutes to make it nice brown. 
until unless your onion is not brown indian curry like does not give you a nice flavor so you have to make it really nice brown or a caramelization so here you go so guys as you can see like the onions are turning brown slowly so it's a time to put our ginger garlic paste into it so ginger garlic paste into our into our masala time to add our masala mix that is indian spice mix i already mentioned you that what is in there i will mention you in the description again salt salt is to taste give it is a nice mix and cook another for i believe 10 minutes more guys indian food is something like this it always takes times because masala really takes times so masala is looks pretty much ready to add on tomato crush so here you go guys so adding on tomato crush into it if you don't have a tomato crush you can go with a fresh chopped tomatoes as well but we just like to use fresh uh crushed tomatoes because it has really good taste and it also saves your time give it a nice mix on the tomatoes and we are going to cook this another 10-15 minutes adding on green chilies so guys our masala is pretty much ready now and it's now time to add green peas and the paneer so here you go all the green peas down look at this color like so green guys i will just tell you this is frozen green peas because it's winter cannot get like fresh green peas over here in canada so we are using frozen one all the cottage cheese are in or indian paneer whatever you would like to say it i'm saying indian cottage cheese because here in canada cottage cheese is one more cottage cheese that is like little curdle one uh, we used to have this on a breakfast give it a nice mix Uh, let it come to boil. Once it's reached to boil, we're gonna simmer it for another 30 minutes, and probably in 30 minutes, this dish is ready to eat. So just in the meantime, we are going to start preparing our lachha parathas that are like layered flat bread, shallow fried. We're gonna show you how we are doing that. So just let it cook, let it simmer nice, and we are going to begin our lachha parath. Time to make rolls of this beautiful bread. So we are going to make like around like one roll, pretty much. I will just just gonna say is around like 100 grams, 100 120 grams. So we'll just prepare the balls of this all roll and then we're gonna start making another chicken. Oh, this. Balls look so beautiful, but don't try to eat it raw. And we're gonna show you the whole process how the lachha prata is going to be prepared. So, guys, stay with us. This video is going to be pretty amazing. So, guys, I just want to show you the process how. We do the lachha parata for that like roll your dough, make it nice flat. Use some, don't scare to use dry flour to avoid sticking. Uh, some clarified butter onto the bread, and you have to. Nice. And after that, put some dry flour. And the wrapping is very important. Yeah. 
There you go. After that is a kind of like a making of flowers, folding. So this is what we need. So this is something it looks like after that. So this is something our uh, mutter paneer. Right now, look like it's not time to add little uh, cilantro and chopped ginger to give it more flavor. Guys, don't afraid. Right? Okay, like more cilantro, more flavor, and some ginger julienne. This is a kind of our finishing touch to our sauce. Guys, once it's ready, so like it's time to roll our lacha prata balls. Time to put this parathas on the non-stick or a tawa or a cast iron pan to cook it. Our pan is hot and here you go, paratha is down. That's how we start looking right now and we're gonna put some heat and gonna fry it on a very low heat. Yeah, Indian food is like too much real food and we guys use so much butter, clarified butter, a lot of things on here, on our food. This is something like Lachha Prata start look like. Already start looking beautiful, so guys just, just wait for a couple more seconds, you're gonna see like it's turned brown crispy crust and I'm gonna show you why this thing is called a lacha prana or like a layered flat bread that's how something over like layered flat bread or a lacha prana is now look alike it's it's look like it's now pretty much done so it's now time to take it off from the heat Guys, I just want to show you why this layered flat bread or lacha prata calls, you see? So like there are layers, layers in bread, here you go. That's why it's called like layered lacha prata or lacha prata or a layered flat bread. It's not pretty much ready to serve. So our mutter paneer is ready with the lacha parata. It's time to garnish our food. So for the garnish we are using some green chilies, ginger and a chopped cilantro. Here you go guys. This looks amazing. So that's how we just made it. Now you guys have the recipe to make Indian style mutter paneer. Green peas and Indian cottage cheese with a lacha parata serving with a pickle so more interesting videos like this please subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for the future notification and also please hit the like button and also do share thank you very much see you next time bye bye